Oh, it's not hot anymore. We're indoors. <laughs> I was doing my makeup in the dark and I obviously couldn't see how much I was putting on so I realized that now I am kicky I gotta take all of this off Oh my god, I think I went a little bit too ham Alright, this is a lot better This is my second look for my second casting A little bit older but still simple so yeah that's pretty much it I have my comp card right here You kind of need your comp cards for castings but you kind of don't because I noticed that the clients always get sent a digital copy anyway so I'm not really sure what the point is but it's better to come prepared I have like a copious amount of them I just have like a hundred on stack ready to give out to people so I'm just like giving them out Anyways, this is my little out outfit you guys have seen this dress multiple times. I have a very limited wardrobe, as you can tell because I travel and so this is all I can really fit to make it a little funky. I have my sunnies. <laughs> I have my double glasses situation going on here. It maximizes efficiency, as you can see. Ready? Oh, it's not hot anymore. We're indoors. <laughs> I guess it's good to like step out of your comfort zone. I think I'm more like it doesn't it didn't deter me. I think I'm more just kind of disappointed in myself for letting it deter me in that moment and feeling like I failed before I even tried. Like yeah, sure. Everyone was better looking and like taller, but I should have at least tried in my poses and stuff. But I I was already deterred then that I kind of felt really shy. I think I did the best I could in that moment, but I could have done that. Hey, wrapped up casting, and since it's by the since the casting is by the riverfront, I thought I'd come check it out. But of course, this week has just been raining. Just saying, before my camera cut me off again, the casting was a little bit intimidating, but and I was feeling a little bit self-conscious, but it's okay, it's okay. It's all part of the experiences, the, um, you know, the curves. Rejection is part of things. I mean, I haven't been rejected yet, but I'm already feeling like I got rejected because there were just too many tall, beautiful people. I thought I would just come explore the area since I'm here, why not? The area's really quiet, it's very, like, family-friendly. There's a lot of kids running around with dogs and things. So it's really cute, and there's also a guy fishing. So yeah, I've seen people actually catch fish to take home and possibly eat. So yeah, it's a fisherman's paradise if you want to live in Hong Kong. I had this thing in Singapore where I was... Why is it so dark? Where 
I was like obsessed with Portuguese egg tarts and I thought Portuguese egg tarts in Singapore were the pinnacle of egg tarts. Now I know, Hong Kong is next level. This one at restaurant Kowloon was hands down 10 out of 10 and I think I'm about to embark on another Portuguese egg tart adventure to find the right one because oh my god it's <sighs> it's so insanely good here like oh my gosh my pimples have healed but they're still scarring and hyperpigmentation left I'm just gonna leave it to marinate so that it doesn't move around too much I feel like that's a new beauty word marinate just let your skin seal and marinate i find that very odd to describe makeup but i found myself coining that term okay i ended up doing the rest of my makeup off camera because it was a bit tricky but i'm just gonna finish up with some blush same dress I wear everywhere but hopefully this is cocktail enough okay I guess time for me to go now ciao bellas Falling deeper, cold and nice, that no more shit on. Keep on digging, and then no more get on. Just don't let's hide our issues. Give them a hand and go to because it's quite a sunny day so I'm really thrilled about that everyone was so sweet at the shoot they were all so kind and lovely and we got to have sushi for lunch it was a little fancy so everyone was taking pictures <laughs> yeah and luckily they loved the pictures so I'm, I'm thrilled I'm just so happy you know it's home time for now because I, I need to get all this makeup off and just yeah just chill now finished a lot earlier than anticipated. That's always a good thing because that means I have the rest of my day to explore. And it also means that we nailed it. Like the shoot went really smoothly. Everyone worked like a dream team, albeit it was our first time shooting together. As always, things just happen very quickly here in Hong Kong. So it's like smack bam and you're done. Oh, oh, my hair. Oh, there's another one. So you just don't know how many you have until you go through it. Stumbled here by accident because we were taking pictures outside. But this is like the highest level of the wet market and it looks like it is closed at the moment but it looks like it opens late evening so it's kind of like a hawker style 
um, cooked food center is what it's called. Wow, the sunlight looks so nice. I forgot to mention where I am. I'm in Mongkok, which is like the heart of Kowloon City. So it's a very busy area, very busy, busy like district of Hong Kong. There's a lot of charm to this area. It's very grimy, a little bit <laughs> like air conditioning water just drops on you because of the condensation. The humidity is quite high in Hong Kong, especially right now during summer. This area is very full of character and life. I love these things. Well, let's try something new. Mango pancake? Uh, pineapple pudding. Uh, Cheese. I don't think it's meant to be. I mean, a little sunken, but. This is dense. I'm running around like a headless troop because I have a costume tomorrow that requires elegant, rich vibes, which is clearly not me. I don't have any of those, but you girls trying to give herself a good chance. And the only way to do that is to really just go to Zara and find something. Zara is great for last minute things. 